<clears throat> All right, everybody, Mike Kozak back, Sore Fitness Blog. Finally got some time to put out another video after all my weeks of travels with the NFL. Today we're going to talk about just a new teaching cue I've been using to help teach kettlebell swings, the squat, and the deadlift. And that is the hip hinge. Uh, something I always knew about, I've always talked about the hip hinge, but after watching uh, Charlie Weinbroff's training DVDs, Charlie is a strength coach and a physical therapist up in New Jersey. If you're a trainer that works with clients that are in pain, whether it's shoulder or back pain, definitely check out his information. It will change the way you think about training your clients. Um, back to what we do here at SOAR now. We work on having the kids, our athletes, even our adults, finding their hip hinge right here, right at the hip bone. All squats, kettlebell swings, Olympic lifts, the clean, should be initiated by the hip hinge. Because what a lot of kids do that are poor squatters, that aren't that strong, maybe even have knee problems, what they do is they initiate the movements with the knee forward, right from the start, instead of initiating from the hip hinge. So what I've been doing a lot lately is walking around with a stick in my hand, and even kids, whether they're body weight squatting or back squatting, what I do is just take this piece of PVC pipe right when they're about to start to lift and just push back on that hip hinge, okay? Almost just like a hinge on the door or, or, or something else that opens and shuts. I push back on that hinge and boom, they sit back till we tap the box and back up. You know, this is, we trap our deadlift. I don't uh, scrape our deadlift much, you know, except with maybe my really advanced older clients that have to perform at a, you know, maybe a college football training camp or whatever. Um, same thing. We get in position to deadlift, I take the stick, push them back from the hip hinge, okay, now we don't have that knees forward, the heels are down, crush grip on the deadlifting bar, tuck the chin, and we're ready to go. Now even if they have trouble, there's someone that maybe starts this way, just by taking that stick and putting it right in that hinge, there's no way they're not going to initiate the lift like that. And that's separating kids coming in this gym and just working out from them being coached how to do every single rep. You know, the kettlebell is something that's become increasingly popular, maybe almost too popular in the last year or so. KB Swain is a great variation of Olympic lifting, especially someone I don't want doing a ton of jumping. Same thing, take the stick, push the hip back, boom. It's a hip extension. There's very little knee involvement in a kettlebell swing. So what you'll see is a lot of people who go into these squats and knees come forward and they squat deep and really all they need to do is move back from the hip hinge so the hips go back, shoulders go forward. So if you're someone that squats or deadlifts, kettlebell swings on your own, think about that. Are you initiating the movement from the hip hinge or are you initiating from the knee? For one, it's going to do a world of good for getting your butt glutes, hamstrings stronger. For two, if you're someone with a knee pain, it's going to do a world of good from alleviating that problem as well. 